everyone, my name is Angel and a few weeks ago I uploaded my college decisions reactions video. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, go ahead and check that out. This is going to be my video where I talk about my stats and extracurriculars and basically everything that helps me get into the colleges that I applied to. In addition to that, I'm going to be focusing on my Caltech essays because I feel like there aren't a lot of videos on Caltech because it's really just such a small school and not a lot of people know about it. Also, if you are applying to Caltech, hopefully this video will help you. So yeah. So a little disclaimer really quick is that stats don't mean everything. Colleges do look at your stats, but those are really just the end product. They want to really look at your passion and determination and really just your character and how all of that really leads up to the reason why you are successful. So just keep that in mind. So it's not always dependent on the stats that you have. So that's why your essays matter the most. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first is stats. So I had a 4.83 weighted GPA and that's out of 5.0. And the way that my high school does it is if you're taking a weighted class, which is either AP or honors, um, if you get an A in that class, then you'll have a five going to your average GPA. But if you get like a B, you get a four and then so on. But if you're doing unweighted, then if you get an A, then that's gonna be four and then three and then so on. So. That's basically how my high school did it. And so I had a 4.0 unweighted GPA out of four. So that means that I got all A's throughout high school. I was ranked first out of 435 students, which means that I was valedictorian. All right, so now comes the standardized test scores. So on the SAT, I got a 1450, um, but I took it with a concussion because a few days before that, I actually was at a volleyball tournament and I hit my head really hard on the floor. So then like two days after I had to take the SAT. So that score I didn't include in my college applications, but just wanted to throw that in here. And I only took the SAT once because I wanted to focus more on the ACT. So on the ACT, I took it twice. Uh, the first time I got a 32, I wasn't too happy about that score because Caltech was my dream school and the average that their students get is like 35 to 36. So I want to take it again. The second time I took it, I got a 35. So I thought it was really weird because my first time I got like really good sleep and everything. And I thought that going into the test, I was like, oh yeah, I got a nice sleep and everything I'm prepared. But then the second time I took it, I actually didn't get like much sleep at all. So it was weird that I got a higher score. Um, I think the difference was that my second time I took it, I was actually kind of excited to do the test. My weakest section is definitely reading. It's because like I'm not that fast of a reader and I was like, oh, why do I have to sit down for so long and just read this passage and answer these questions when I don't really care about the passage. But before the reading section, I was actually like really excited <laughs> for some reason and I was like, yeah, I'm excited to learn. That was the first time I actually finished that section really early and I actually had time to like go back and fix some questions that I actually did wrong. So that's just showing that um, attitude is actually key and like even though the amount of sleep that I got was different it's really just your attitude and for those few hours just feel like oh yeah I'm excited for this and I'm ready to do this and I'm interested in the topics so for the subject tests I did math 2 and chemistry so I got an 800 on math 2 which is a perfect score and then I got a 760 on chemistry so pretty happy with those scores so I'm not going to talk about all of my classes because some of them were just like PE or like computer apps. So those aren't very important. So I'm really just going to be talking about my advanced classes instead. So freshman year, um, my honors classes, I took biology, freshman lit, and pre-calc. And then my APs, I got a 5 on stats and a 4 in human geography. And then sophomore year, my honors classes were chemistry, world lit, and principles of biomedical sciences. For APs, I got a 5 on Calc BC, 5 on psychology, and a 4 on physics 1. So junior year, my honors classes were American lit, Spanish 4, and human body systems. For APs, I got a 5 on chemistry, 4 on environmental science, and 4 on U.S. history. I also took some college classes at my local college because my high school didn't offer for any more of the higher math classes. So I did Calc 3 and Diffie Q. Oh, and in 11th grade, there was this new thing called like peer tutoring. I was one of the first peer tutors who tutored other students who were struggling in math subjects. So yeah. And then senior year, I did only honors economics and AP. Right now I'm doing Spanish, Lit, Biology, 
um, computer science and computer science principles. And so I haven't taken those AP. So I also took another college class online and that was linear algebra. And then my second semester, I just didn't do another math class because I didn't really feel like it. <laughs> Okay, so moving on to the extracurriculars. So my freshman and sophomore year, I was in Key Club and Friends of Rachel. If you don't know, Key Club is basically like a volunteering club. And then Friends of Rachel is just like spreading kindness around the community. Um, but I didn't include these in my application because they were just small and only part of freshman and sophomore year. But the extracurriculars that I did include were Mu Alpha Theta. I was the vice president senior year and I was also the secretary during junior year. I was like an unofficial member uh, freshman and sophomore year. I also initiated the Remind account, which Remind is just like an app that sends out like reminders to all the students for like competitions or when we have meetings. And then I also listed a few awards that I won during the math competitions that we competed in. My next one was Knowledge Bowl. So I was on the team for all four years and we qualified for state all four years. And then Science National Honor Society, I was a part of that my junior and senior year. Another extracurricular I was a part of was First Robotics. And I only joined senior year because I didn't really know about it my other years of high school and I just didn't really have too much time to join it. But then senior year I joined and I didn't get to go to any of the competitions because they got canceled. Yeah, so kind of bummed about that, but it was a pretty cool experience. I was really excited, but it's okay. So another club I was in was National Honor Society. I was one of the presidents. One thing that I initiated was knitting and donating baby hats to the local hospital that I was volunteering at. Also, I initiated making blankets for homeless teens. So next up is volunteering. So I volunteered at my local hospital for the past four years and I had over 220 volunteering hours. I'd go every Saturday from about like four to seven and then I'd make baby beds, I'd replenish the closets with supplies, and I'd also just like help people around the hospital if they were like lost or anything. That was in the birth center. So I also had some work experience. I started working at Mathnasium in August of 2019. So it's kind of like tutor and work. And because we're on the topic of tutoring, I also tutored a family friend in like math and basically all the subjects. So next up is sports. I've been playing volleyball for a very long time. I started around like first or second grade and I started club volleyball um, in sixth grade. Uh, we competed at in-state and out-of-state tournaments a lot. We also got to compete at nationals a few times, which was really, really fun. For high school volleyball, that was a mess. We do not talk about that. <laughs> so I only played freshman year and sophomore year. And junior and senior year, I didn't play because the program was just not good. So, <laughs> so in addition to volleyball, I also played tennis. I started playing tennis when I was in about like fifth grade. It wasn't really like as serious as volleyball because I did club and that took up a lot of my time. Tennis was more of like the side sport for me. All through high school, I was on varsity. My freshman year, I was two singles and I was a regional champion. And I went to state and then I lost my first game. So I kind of got last place. That was kind of bad. But then sophomore year, junior year, and senior year, I was one singles, but this year's season got canceled again. The last activity that I included on my application was something I think is pretty unique. I have a YouTube channel with my sister and it's not this one. Uh, I create a separate one, of course. I started it with my sister end of freshman year and basically we like sing and write English lyrics to K-pop songs, specifically BTS, so any armies out there. We also write the English lyrics for karaoke and a lot of people find that helpful, especially if they're international fans who don't understand Korean. We have over like 25,000 subscribers and we collaborate with other YouTubers. We also collaborated with an app called like Next Music where we sing in front of a live audience. And I think it kind of set me apart from other applicants because in addition to all the other things that I was doing, I did something else that I was really passionate about, which was singing. Hello, so I'm editing the video right now and I just realized that I forgot to include that I also participated in a lot of STEM camps during the summers. For example, in the summer of 2019, I was in an international girls in STEM camp and girls from Senegal, India, and Kazakhstan came over to the US and we did a lot of activities, especially with 
Lego Robotics and programming. So that was a really good experience. I also got to host a girl from Kazakhstan. So I included that in some parts of my application, but I forgot to include that. And some other camps such as a cyberspace academy. And that was where we learned a lot about cybersecurity and computers. So yeah. All right, so those were all my stats in extracurriculars. And now I'm gonna go on to my essays. So so first up is the Common App essay that says, The lessons we take from obstacles we encounter can be fundamental to later success. Recount a time when you faced a challenge, setback, or failure. How did it affect you and what did you learn from the experience? I decided to talk about my club volleyball experience, but it wasn't really like one of those essays where I was like, oh, sports are a metaphor for life, like work hard and everything. It was actually just like an experience that I had that just happened to be in a volleyball setting. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about it because it's really personal, but I just feel like I was pretty vulnerable in this essay because I talked about some really hard times because the volleyball experience that I had really shaped my character and I really wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for this experience. And it also shaped how I work in the classroom and basically just how I am in everyday life. So hopefully I grasped those application readers' emotions. <laughs> All right, so on to the Caltech essays. Well, this one's like actually kind of like three in one, but it says Describe three experiences and or activities that have helped develop your passion for a possible career in a STEM field. The three that I chose, I feel like they really like led into each other. It was like a progression of events that really helped me develop my passion for STEM. So the first one was I took math lessons with a family friend. So I said that that was kind of like my initial spark on how I realized that the STEM field really had so many opportunities and it really allows someone to be inventive and really go forward with all of their ideas. The second one, I said that I showed how I was inventive. So I made like a fully functional Tootsie Roll vending machine out of Legos. So I thought that was like kind of fun. Yeah, I just showed my inventiveness. So for my third one, I included my experience at a Caltech Women in STEM event. And I include this because I knew that it would be more personal, just showing like, oh, I understand more about the school and everything because I've actually been there. So during that event, I visited JPL, which is the Jet Propulsion Lab. And I also watched the movie, The Martian, which is really good. And so I said that I saw the scenes from that movie really come to life. And I was like, whoa, it's literally like from the movie screen right in front of me. I also saw the Mars 2020 rover being built. And I thought that was so cool. Like seeing something that was right in front of me that's gonna go off and do all this exploration. And so that was when I realized that oh yeah, I really want to be in STEM. So those three moments that I decided to talk about, um, I felt like those really showed how they solidified my decision in going into the STEM field. Okay, so the next one is, much like the life of a professional scientist or engineer, the life of a techer relies heavily on collaboration. Knowing this, what do you hope to explore, innovate, or create with your Caltech peers? So this was kind of a difficult prompt for me to understand because I was like, wait, are they asking me to talk about like collaboration? or are they asking me to talk more about what I want to make in the future, like what ideas I have, or do they want me to talk about both? I decided to talk about collaboration because I know how heavily Caltech focuses on collaboration, literally like on all the problem sets, everyone works together. And so I really wanted to talk about that because I knew what they were kind of looking for. So I talked about an experience that I had at a Northrop Grumman STEM camp and my partner and I collaborated and we considered each other's ideas. So we each had different strengths and perspectives that we had on how to complete the project. I talked about how by filling in each other's gaps, that was what led us to winning the competition at the end. That quote is like, two workers are better, oh, two minds are better than one. I don't know, okay. I also had some like more room to talk about it. So I went on to talk about how unique Caltech is because of the collaboration and the opportunities it offers how I want to take advantage of those opportunities on campus so that I can develop what I want to in the future, which is artificial intelligence. And again, that's showing my clear understanding of Caltech. So the third one is Caltech students are often known for their sense of humor and creative pranks. What do you like to do for fun? So this one I talked about on my YouTube channel that I already talked about, and I made sure to show how it helped other people around the world. This also shows a little bit of collaboration and teamwork with my sister because siblings, um, it's really hard to get along sometimes. All right, so the last question is, the process of discovery best advances when people from various backgrounds, experiences, and perspectives come together. How do you see yourself contributing to the diversity of Caltech's community? So I talked about, because I played volleyball and tennis, there are two different sports because volleyball is more of like a team sport Whereas tennis, because I play singles, it's really easy to get in your head. I'm not saying like volleyball isn't, 
but because volleyball is more of a team environment, you have people around you and they can support you. So I said I have the ability to work in both a team environment and in a solo environment. And I said how I took advantage of those abilities by transitioning them into the school environment because I can adjust to different environments. I also threw in a little bit of, oh, I play sports so I can balance work and play. And then the last thing that I talked about was my diverse background. I'm Chinese American and I acknowledge the benefits of my Chinese identity because I'm Chinese and I'm American. And you put them together, and that's me. So I was just showing how I can take advantage of both sides, just like the volleyball and tennis thing, and how that makes me unique, and I can have different perspectives that help me in different occasions, such as working with other people. Okay, so those were all of my Caltech essays and stats and extracurriculars. If you guys are applying, I know that this is a very stressful time, but again, don't focus on all your stats. Make sure that you really show your passion and show that you really have interest in the subject that you're planning on doing, or even if you don't know like at least show that you did put a lot of hard work in your high school years and again i hope you guys found this video helpful please subscribe like and comment smash that like button so yeah so thank you guys for watching and peace out